as if, you know, you know, um, last week wasn't any indication. Does anybody know what's going on in college basketball? Um, as I shift the focus here, you know, trying to get off the high of the NFL, conference championships and stuff like that, um, that video is there for you guys to see. Um, should be there, you know, go ahead and watch that and stuff like that. Um, not the greatest at promoting the videos, but that's fine. Uh, but again, you know, college basketball is a weird, weird demon that has not, you know, gone away this year and things have just gotten crazier and crazier. Uh, as, you know, we get down into the conference play and stuff like that, and as we hit the next week, which is, uh, I don't think there were any top 25 teams that played today, uh, but they are playing again tomorrow, so um, should be fun tomorrow, um, stuff like that. That's, that's, not, that's not what we're here for. Um, let's talk about what the Saturday happened and things like that, because um, some things are very easy to call. Some things are not. But firstly, let's just get the number one team out of the way. Gonzaga, they just dominated BYU with 92-69. Um, wasn't even close. Didn't really matter. Cause, I mean, it, it's the West Coast Conference, you know. Gonzaga's been dominating that conference for years. But there has been a couple of contenders like BYU and St. Mary's that have come up. And they should challenge Gonzaga down the line. But who knows if Gonzaga's going to lose another game prior to the tournament. I don't think so, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Nevada had San Diego State for a little while, but San Diego State pulled away. San Diego State is still the only undefeated team left in college basketball. The only undefeated team left, in, in, regardless of division, as I have learned. Um, so, they won 60 8-55. Um, the game that I did not see, I was gone <laughs> around this time and I was getting ready for the Saturday night game for the NBA game on Saturday night um, Louisville beating Duke you know 79-73 um, what you say another top 5 team lost and there was more top 5 teams lost as well Creighton Illinois Kentucky they win Texas Tech wins so all these teams at the bottom they keep winning um, Houston they upset Wichita State did not see this game had no idea what channel it was on. Haven't really watched either of these two teams all year long. Um, but I will tell you that I did watch the Oregon Washington game. It was on CBS on Saturdays. It was after the other game that was on earlier, um, which we'll talk about because it involves a team that we need to talk about. Uh, but Peyton Pritchard, man, that boy can shoot. Man, that boy can shoot. Um, Oregon's defense was pretty suffocating, you know. So was Washington's, to be completely honest. They Washington got a lot of blocks in this game, um, and you know Oregon had, you know, they had to take some shots that weren't really the most viable. And I was watching this game at the same time uh, the uh, the Pelicans and the Raptors were playing. So I'll talk about that game real quick. Um, Kawhi had 39, you know, and it was. Um, and it was really close. The game was really close. The Pelicans at the, at the Clippers was. It was a really close game. But Lou Williams got to be three at the very end. And, it, and boom. You know, it was, what, 133 to 130. The final of that game was. Man, that was a crazy game. Um, we'll talk about this other game in a moment. Um, that happened with the NBA. Um, Colorado got blown out by Arizona. Don't know what's happening there. Um, West Virginia. They lose to Kansas State. Um, and the funny thing is is that my team, the Texas Longhorns, beat Kansas State last Saturday. Um, but we play Kansas tough on Saturday, but we still lose. It doesn't make any sense. We couldn't stop as a BK. We couldn't get enough free throws. We couldn't we couldn't shut them down. We could not shut Kansas down when, when we needed to. I don't get this. You know, Basketball in Texas is kind of a lukewarm thing, um, you know, to be completely honest with you. I don't really pay attention to, to NBA a lot anymore aside from the few games that they that they advertise as the big games on the weekends and stuff like that. I don't really pay attention during the week, as I've said. Um, that's why I keep my coverage limited to Saturdays and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, 
I am disappointed again by the Longhorns and every Longhorn fan should be disappointed because this is not the type of stuff that we need as we head into March. You know, it's, February is literally right around the corner and it's time to start building your resume and and I'm got, I got I gotta say, the Longhorns don't have it. Have a bunch of easy wins and Purdue, that's about it. Nothing else a note. So we need to start building resume and stuff up quick. Um, Maryland won, barely against Purdue. Florida State barely won against Miami of Florida. Butler is another top five team that fell. They fell to DePaul. They got basically blown out 79-66. Baylor struggled for like the entire game against Oklahoma State. They're number two right now for some reason, even though they should be number one, but they get the victory, you know, Baylor does. Um, Bill Nova survives. Um, Connecticut, you know, Seton Hall survives St. John's as well. Ohio State continues to lose. They've lost like five in a row, what, five or six games in a row. But this game right here, let me tell you, this is the first game that I watched um, yesterday. Um, Auburn at Florida. Now you want to tell me um, Florida just went completely under my radar. Um, they had like a double overtime game that preempted the Baylor game that we had against, you know, Baylor in Texas a couple weeks ago. And I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. Like, Florida shut them down, completely down. Florida shut Auburn down completely. Like, at one point, they were like 1 for 15 from the field, Auburn was, like, for like a long stretch. Auburn had, had like, not even scored a basket for like five straight minutes. Suffocating defense by Florida. Suffocating defense that really just, man, it was something that, you know, it was something that you just got to see to believe. That game was just not even close at all. Like Once Florida started taking control of that game, it was over. And so, yeah, that was that was Saturday in a nutshell. Um, crazy, crazy Saturday of games that just ended up creating more chaos in the world of college basketball and everything like that. But... Now let's go to the big appetizer, the, the main course, the entree to, to end Saturday night in basketball. And that was the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Houston Rockets. And I gotta say, you know, Houston, you know, they had it for a little while, you know. Um, were There was a lot of fouls that were called in this game that just kind of, ugh, so disgusting. Uh, offensive fouls that weren't even offensive fouls, like the one on James Harden, uh, where he just kind of el- kind of elbowed LeBron, but it wasn't really you know much of anything. Um, Russell Westbrook, he did all right. He did all right. You know, James Harden also did all right. And dude can dude can flop his way to the three throw line like it's nothing. <laughs> but you know, LeBron James and company once again. You know, you got Caruso, you got Kyle Kuzma, who every time I seem to watch him on TV. Like, like, dude, dude starts balling out. I don't know what in the world it was. That, and there was no Anthony Davis at all in this game. He was not even in this game. I think he was like sick or something. Um, but you know, um, Ron and company suffocating defense in the second half, and it just overwhelmed Houston. It was like what? Um, let me check the final score again because I don't remember the final score. Um, but it was like it was, it was close, but it wasn't really close. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was 124 to 115. Really, the score is not indicative of what transpired. Rockets got a lot of garbage points very late in the game, and it was just man, what, what, just what happened, man? What happened? Uh, you know, and defense just did not play particularly well in the game. At all for the Rockets. Um, I mean, again, the fouls kind of ruined it for me. There was like a bunch of fouls. There was like a double technical or something like that. Or they ended up calling it just a technical against Anthony Davis at the very, um, at the very end of that. But it took like three minutes. 
and it was just crazy, man. It was just a crazy, crazy time. But, you know, next Saturday, um, of course, uh, Lakers are visiting Philadelphia for the only time this season. I'll be able to check that out. Um, we got a long week ahead, so um, trying to recap what in the world happened in basketball. Um, man, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy time, man. So with that, um, you know, we're going to head on out, skedaddle, go to bed, do whatever. And, you know, we'll just, um, um, as far as the schedule for this week goes, and this will be the last video of the night, as far as the schedule for this week goes, we'll preview some NBA stuff, we'll preview the Royal Rumble, that's right, the Royal Rumble, WWE's, one of WWE's Big Four, which is one of the only events of WWE that I watch every year, um, I only watch four pay-per-views, and that's it, um, Talk about some Premier Lacrosse League stuff, which it, 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 it's been a long time coming on this channel, um, which is an occasional thing that I said I will talk about, um, and other stuff that we haven't gotten to, um, if necessary, if need be, if I really want to, you know, just start covering it, um, but at least those three videos, those three videos will be out at some point during the week. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but um, I know that tomorrow probably, probably, there's probably going to be a video tomorrow, probably. Um, I don't know which one it's going to be yet, but we'll talk about it tomorrow as I get closer to making that video tomorrow, because my videos are very sporadic as far as, you know, when they're uploaded, and, you know, and I, sometimes I just don't upload for a couple days, you know, but yeah um see that's gonna do it everybody you know saturday of the nba was just fantastic um you know a couple of, a good one and then a kind of a dud for saturday night um yeah and college basketball is still crazy but we'll find out what happens during you know this this stretch of games during the week so you know that's gonna do it y'all have a good night we'll see you guys in the next video, subscribe, comment, share the video, do all that good stuff.